Hello and welcome to Build on Ideas Institute and this is Six and Sunny. So we are going into the fourth part of the Blender Beginners tutorial and this is basically on how to add objects, arrange objects, snap objects and use the 3D cursor to add different objects in different areas of the viewport. So let's go into the tutorial. So coming to the tutorial you can see that when you come to the viewport you can see that it is in the object mode and by default it is in the object mode and we start adding objects through the add button out here. So you can see in the viewport there is a light in the camera which I am going to delete. You can see only the cube here. So I am just moving this cube in the y direction. I am keeping it here. When you see the cube you can see that there is a center of origin in the center. This yellow dot is the center of origin of this object. So basically when you add an object there will be a center of origin for each object. And also you can see that there is a, there is a cursor out here. The cursor is in the center now. You can move this cursor to any place in the viewport and start adding objects in that area. So when you add an object, it gets added in the area where there is this cursor and also it gets snapped to the center of origin of an object. So basically this is how we start adding the object. So let's start adding the object. So I'm just going into the add button and start with a cube. So you have a cube here. I'm just moving this cube to the uh, y direction in this direction. Now I'll I'll show you one thing uh, that is like uh, if I if I want to use a shortcut for this add it is shift a so shift a start adding the other object so I'm just adding a cone out here I'm just moving in in x direction so I'm keep it here so whenever I added an object you can see that this this uh, center of origin gets snapped to the cursor so I'm just adding an object out here if I want to add an object in this area or on top of this cube. I have to move this this 3d cursor from this point to this point or this point so how do we do that so when we come into the uh, the toolbar out here you can see that there's a cursor out here so if you say start uh, using this cursor you can click here and start using with the left mouse button if you click on the left mouse button now you can see that the cursor moves to the position you want so it can be placed in any any area and then start adding an object so I'm just adding an object on top of this you can see that I'm adding a cube now what happened is like uh, the center of origin of this object is uh, snapping to the cursor where I uh, place the cursor and gets inside the other cube. That's how it is done. And if you want to add an object out here, you can just start adding another cylinder I'm adding. So it's also you can see that the center of origin of this cylinder is getting snapped to the 3D cursor. So this is how we add an object. Now shift A also helps to do that. So go into this and then if I start adding a cone out here you can see that I've snapped the 3D cursor uh, is in this position so the cone is positioned in that area. So if whenever there's a cursor in this area the st objects start adding into that area. It is a bit annoying to use this 3D cursor tool out here because uh, whenever you start uh, try to select an object like this the 3d cursor moves in this position and you have to change this tool into the select box so instead of doing that you can stay in the selection box uh, select box or any other tool out here except the cursor and then start moving the cursor in a different way so how do you do that to do that you just have to click on the shift and right click so whenever you click shift right click the cursor moves to that position you can point the cursor out here and then click on shift and right click the 3D cursor moves to that position. So that's very easy. You can stay in any area and then start moving the cursor to the, any position you want. So that's how it is done. Now I'll just start uh, moving this cube and then try to arrange it in, in, a, in a stack like this. Uh, this cube, this cube and this cube will be arranged in a stack. So in order to do that, when I start moving the object, I'll just move this and then start moving in X, uh, C direction. You can see that it is quite difficult for us to position it manually without any stamp. So it is better to use the snap. So in order to do that, we have the snap button out here. If you click on that, the snap is on now. And you can see that there are options out here like increment, vertex, edge, phase, volume and stuff like that. So I'll just show you what is the increment now. So I'll just select this and then start moving it by clicking on G you can see that it is getting moved uh, on the increments of this unit the grid of this uh, depending on the size of the grid we start moving this in the increment so now you can see that when I when I just selected it as vertex now I'll start moving this object to the vertex of this object just click on G and then start moving you can see that it is getting snapped to the vertex of this 
so you can you can uh, snap to any of these vertices just move it in z direction you can see that i can snap it to the nearest nearest vertex so if you want to snap this vertex to this vertex it's not possible because this is uh, far away from this vertex so whenever an object is getting snapped to another object you can see that always uh, the nearest vertex gets snapped to the other object so just click on g and then snap moving you can see that whenever it is getting snapped it's getting snapped to the nearest vertex so if you want to snap this vertex you just have to move to in this direction and then start moving so you can see that it is getting snapped so that's how it is done so i have st uh, stacked it i'm stacking it this one as well i'm just doing this also so it's quite easy for us to do it with the help of the snap uh, snap i'm just arranging this also on top of this So that's how we start stack, stacking and snapping and arranging the objects in, in the blue viewport. Hope this tutorial was helpful to you. If you like this tutorial, kindly share this, like this and also if you have some queries, kindly comment below. Also please subscribe to this channel and do click on the notification link next to it so that you get our next videos. Thank you.